again, mga kainko and Jacko Natics. Alright, well, this is your tour, Jacko, again, at your service. Alright, well, for today, again, ipagpapatuloy natin yung ating discussion about the manual books of accounts. This time, part 4 na tayo. Okay, so this time, we will be, you know, um, using our cash receipts. And, of course, the next one is the cash disbursement books. Alright, now, dito na tayo sa ating cash receipts book. Again, uh, the cash receipts book is actually a record of all your cash inflows. Meaning, kung ano yung mga perang pumapasok. Alright? Like, for example, um, your pay for your salary from a client, or your compensation from a client of the service you have rendered, okay, or from a company, and, and then, of course, when you applied for a loan, alright, so naka-receive ka ng cash niyan, so ito record mo siya dito sa cash receipts book. Alright, well, marami nagtatanong, ilang columns ba kailangan natin for cash receipts book? Depende na yun sa inyo, like for example, ano yung mga nilalagay nyo na extra, like reference number, or any remarks, it's up to you. But in my case, hindi kasi ganun karami yung nilalagay ko, so I'm... Uh, okay na ako for the three columns uh, na columnar book. Alright? So, again, this is our cash receipts books. Again, you can, you know, buy this to any supply store, national bookstore. Alright? Okay, so let's go back first to our cash ledger. Um, in our part 3 of this video, agmawa tayo ng ledger. And specifically, yung uh, gagamitin natin before we, you know, make our cash disbursements or receipts book, uh, ito yung basis natin for for recording, okay? Of course, sa cash ledger, ando na yung lahat, alright? Uh, the debited cash and then the credited cash, alright? So, yung pumapasok and also yung uh, lumalabas na pera. Alright, here in the cash ledger, yung naka-debit, ito yung mga pumapasok na pera sa inyo. Alright, so that is your basis for cash receipts. And then on the other side, on the right side, this is actually uh, the money na lumalabas. Alright, so this is your expenses and this is your, or this is your disbursements. Alright, so importante in your, in your um, cash disbursement or cash receipts, importante yung mga a uh, proof of transaction all right like for example in cash receipts yung proof of transaction small like for example this january 2 okay loan from mr utang now so if you if you if you have the loan voucher it will suffice as a proof of transaction okay for the salary of course um yung proof of transaction nito is the OR or the official receipt na you issue every time you receive a pay. Alright? If you can remember, uh, when we receive a pay, nag issue tayo ng uh, official receipt to our employer or to our client. So, importante, yan yung i-attach natin. Alright? Um, because as I said no, in my previous video, kapag ka walang proof of transaction, yung transaction will not be valid. Okay? Parang walang nangyari. So, hindi mo pwede i-claim na nangyari ito. Alright? So, kailangan talaga ng proof of transactions. On the other hand, on the right side, this is actually your expenses or your disbursement. Okay? So, ano yung mga nilalagay mo ng mga proof of transactions? These are actually invoices. Okay? Sales invoice. Alright? Or, when we buy something, or when we, you know, ask for a service or something, Meron ding mga official receipt na binibigay sa atin yung mga tindahan, yung mga department stores, or the people providing the service to us. So, i-attach mo din doon. So, whenever you buy something, huwag mo talaga itapon yung receipt kasi it's a proof of the transactions that you made. The business transaction or the financial transactions. And here we are in the cash receipts Book. Again, pumasok tayo sa cash receipts book. Literally, pumasok talaga tayo sa loob ng book. <laughs> okay. So again, in, in the heading, you put cash receipts, alright? Or in, in the front page or the cover page of your book, meron naman nakalagay cash receipts book. Okay? Pwede mo na ilagay ka na cash receipts lang. Ganyan. So for the heading, uh, the first row is of course yung ating usual na nilalagay is the date, the particulars, 
And then since this is cash receipts, all the the, the, the cash accounts that na debit mo in your journal entry dito mo ilagay. All right? But in this case, kasi nga kailangan na may attachment ka ng proof of transaction. So, ilalagay mo rin yung reference number. All right? And then of course, the amount that you have received. For example, in January 2, you have we have loaned from Mr. Utang now. And then uh for example, your number ng voucher is 125, loan voucher, all right? And then for the amount of 5,000. In January 15th and January 31st, it's a salary, okay, that you have received. So, of course, sariling OR mo yung um, release mo dito, okay? So, you will have OR number, for example, 001, and then the next one is OR number 002, both for 20,000 pesos. And now, pupunta na naman tayo ngayon sa cash disbursement book. So, ano yung mga ilalagay natin sa cash disbursement book? Of course, this is record of all your cash outflows. Okay? Kung ano yung mga pera na ginastos mo, ano yung pera na dumabas, na dumabas from you. Of course, um, these are transactions na ginamit mo yung pera mo. Like, for example, your salary from, from the rendering of your services to your clients. So, yun yung... Ah, uh, yun lang yun. Yun lang yung ang, ang year record mo dito. Okay? So, for expenses, like, hindi naman kasali yung, hindi naman ginamit yung, ano mo, yung, 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 yung pay mo for a particular, uh, you know, salary from a, from a client. So, wag mo na isali. Yun lang talaga na ginamitan mo ng uh, buong salary mo as, you know, um, a self-employed providing services to your clients. Alright? So, Again, that is your um, cash disbursement book. Okay, so papasok na naman tayo ngayon sa ating cash disbursement book. Okay, so andito na tayo sa loob. <laughs> okay. So, again, you know, just the same. Um, we have the date, the particulars, and of course, uh, the reference, and also the amount. Okay, in this case, ito yung credit side ng ating cash. Meaning disbursements, these are actually our expenses. Already in our previous examples, ito yung mga expenses natin or the disbursements natin, uh, yung perang lumabas. Okay, like for example, January 10, of course, we paid for COR and SD, and then mayroong OR. Okay, um, in if, if you paid your COR in the bank, pwede mo rin ilagay yung deposit slip number. Okay, for notarization, um, lagay mo yung um, OR number. Alright? So, in our example, that's 3,000. Um, in January 11, nagbayad tayo ng printing of OR. Of course, um, doon sa accredited printer, mag issue din sila ng official receipt, okay, uh, to you. So, ilagay mo yun as reference. In our example, that's 2,000 pesos. And in January 13, you have paid for the journals and ledger, okay? So, in this case, kasi department store ito, or supply store, invoice yung ginagamit. Again, ha, um, Invoice if you are selling something or if you are buying something. But if service yung binili mo or service yung pinovide mo, official receipt. Okay, yun yung difference ng sales invoice and official receipt. Alright? And then the next transaction we have here is on the 16th of January, you paid for the internet bill. Okay? Si Judith. <laughs> Isa sa mga Judith ng buhay natin ito si internet. So that's... Of course, you need to provide the OR from PLDT. Every time magbayad ka sa PLDT, mag-iis naman sila ng official receipt. Okay? And in our example, that's 1,800. And on the 25th, um, loan to Miss Palautang. Okay? So, uh, nag-loan si Palautang. And then, say this is a friend lang, so wala kayong formal na document. So, hanap ka parin. Gumawa kayo yung mga abstract agreement. Okay, or nakasulat lang sa kamay and then papirmahan mo sa kanya. Okay, it's a proof of transaction. Kasi friend lang naman ito. Hindi ka naman talaga nagpapautang so wala kang loan voucher. So, ganoon na lang ang i-attach mo. So, every time you release money for loan to a friend. Okay? In our example, that's 6,000 pesos. Alright. And of course, in January 31, uh, payment of loan, of course, kay Mr. Pautang. Alright? So, that's uh, you paid... Uh, a loan of 5,500, okay? So, yun yung uh, binayaran mo talaga, 5,500. Okay? So, again, cash disbursement, ito yung lahat na lumalabas na pera sa'yo ni record mo. And, of course, you write also there the reference number for audit purposes. 
Ayan guys, alright, so natapos na natin yung ating cash receipts and cash disbursements. Alright, so that ends our part 4 for the cash receipts and disbursement. Of course, the next thing in our accounting cycle is the preparation of the trial balance and also uh, the financial statements. If in case na you want to uh, make a financial statement, and you want it to be audited by a certified public accountant. So from from there, okay, from here, from the transactions that you have, you can now make a financial statement at the end of the year, all right? So the good thing about, you know, having a financial statement, um, it's, a good, uh, it's a good proof of your financial capabilities, all right? So magagamit natin yung financial statements the income tax return, like for example, when we apply for a loan in the bank, okay, so magagamit natin yung financial statement natin. And then, also when you apply for a house loan, okay, in pag-ibig or other, or some banks or mga cooperatives, kasi in our case, wala naman tayong ano, um, uh, yung, yung financial statement lang talaga at ITR, yung ating, um, you know, uh, a financial proof na nag income talaga tayo. So, maganda na you can also print your or you can also have your financial statements at the end of the year. Alright? So, again, our examples is only for one month. Alright? So, itotal mo lahat yun from January to uh, December. Alright? So, hopefully in the next video, that's gonna be part 5 of uh, the manual books of accounts the preparation of your uh, trial balance and also maybe part six will be the preparation of your financial statements all right well guys if you are new to this channel please click the subscribe button there and if you like this video please click like and if you want to be notified for my you know my next videos just click uh, the bell ring the bell okay and then don't forget to share this video to other people and if you have some suggestions if you have some comments all right so please write that down below in the comment section so that's it for today guys bye for now see you again soon in my next videos bye bye